friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not... <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. If you don't want to do something you're going to regret, better to be sure, right? Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We could take her if it comes to that. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Out, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. Maybe you could let me go? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be 
fine. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. It's pretty safe in there. It'll be a good place to stitch up my arm. Makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beth? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. What the hell are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? 
Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. You just let me die? I wouldn't let you do nothing. It's not my call. We're a group. But you could help. And if you don't, isn't that the same? I don't know, all right? I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. We got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm already in trouble just talking to you. Sorry I bothered you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I bought your damn arm. Wish I could help you, but... Try not to die. House meeting in five minutes. Bet. Bet. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. He's got his book. He doesn't need to be a part of it. Could be, we don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else?
stuck. You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. to you. A dog bit me. It sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. Bandages. And I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages. But I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this applies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? Come on, I said yes. It's not the same. <sighs> promise? Yes or no? Yes. Pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Clean. We'll still need some bandages, though. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere.
just need to have this baby. <laughs> Let it be okay, and let it be his. Sarah? What are you still doing here? I need to find some bandages. I don't have any. Um, maybe try looking in another room. But be careful. They'll be mad if they find you sneaking around. Thanks, Sarah. We're friends, right? Right. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. To do. Huh? Leave her out there to die? Better her than us. You'd have done the same, Nick. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, when firing your rifle was, huh? Next time we'll just put up a neon sign that says Lurkers Welcome. Where are you going, huh? I want to get my sweater. We'll be done in a minute. This is gonna suck. I just wish it was better. I'm good. 
good. I'm fine. Now the fun part. Worst bandages ever. At least they'll keep the stitches in place when I'm done. Krista showed me. Good enough. did it get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Are you happy? I could have died, you know. Well, you didn't. I just needed some help. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. 
She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. I hate to say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for you know, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan?
I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He told me to stay away from cities. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your wealth. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? 
You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. I want to hear the rest of the story. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Can I help? I got it. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look. Just keep your head on straight. Same deal. You shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were.
What happened to you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. gonna do someone's outside someone came here looking for you a man what did he say what his name was we know damn well who it was who is he one of the guys we were with before what's he gonna do Can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. <laughs> 